If you drove past the empty lot where Muriel's Diner once stood in the past year, you've probably noticed some unusual imagery on the old wall that didn't resemble the regular gang tags or random acts of vandalism. You'd have seen pieces hung on paper using weed paste by a handful of artists, some known and some not. But that came to an end when city workers stopped by Saturday morning at what's become known as the On Plain Air Gallery and painted over the images. This sparked an outcry in the art community that inspired two art advocates to take action. With signs in hand, Catherine Usher and Nadine Charity took to the street asking the community to voice their opinion on the city's actions by sending a text or leaving an encouraging message. There's a difference between street art and graffiti which is spray paint and tagging. These were well executed, well thought out pieces of art by artists who have um, reputations and resumes and art practices. But nobody really had permission to paint anything on the wall. It we just had kinda... tacit approval. Once that we did that, uh, we had a person contact uh, the real estate agent and said, this is what we're doing, this is our intent, and nobody got back to us and said, stop. The interesting thing is that is a wall that's no man's land. It was the interior wall of Merle's, so it doesn't really belong to anyone. And what we did was we put up wheat paste, which is very respectful. It peels off naturally six months to a year. What the city has done, they've actually painted over brick, which is not a good idea because you can really damage the brick. So we were very mindful and respectful of the property, even though we're street artists. And in fact, a lot of our art has peeled away naturally. We've lost a lot of art, but in the natural process. And, and it was, it, all the art goes away eventually, but not this won't go away. The Times reached out to Shreveport's Property Standards Office for comment and were told that they had received numerous complaints about the installation. It's street art, and that's what happens sometimes. Even Banksy, who's a re relatively famous street artist, has had his work destroyed by people who think they know better about art. So we're in a good tradition. The Shreveport Times, this is Douglas Collier.